I have been waiting to do this video and now that the series is finally over, I feel like I can do it now. Get that. That shirt will give you a little hint into today's video theme. Time to sip some tea. Hello my kings and queens, welcome back to another video and today I will be sipping tea. Ooh my hair, hold on a minute. I will be sipping tea as we talk about the Shane Dawson series about the mind of Jake Paul. The mind of Jake Paul. The mind of Jake Paul. So when the series first began, I did not watch it right away because I was currently in school, busy, you know, in class. So I watched it a few days after and the first video I was a little skeptical because I was like, okay, I don't want to put any, you know, Jake Paulers into, you know, angry mode or whatever. But Shane had a really good way of the way that he made this series and I feel like it was good on all sides. I think my favorite episode was the one when he talked to Alyssa because I feel like when the situation with Jake and Alyssa first happened, he was she was upset they were both upset and they said things and now that it has settled down people are you know doing their own thing you know she was able to tell the whole truth about everything and i don't want to give too much away because if you haven't seen the eight part series go watch it on shane's channel right now it is really 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 good i really like how shane was able to meet with nick because nick is like a day one like he knows everything that was going on and he was a really good, reliable source in the whole situation going on. He was able to tell the truth about everything. I was just a little skeptical about Nick's home because it mirrored a lot of Alyssa giving the tour of the um, Cloud House. And I was just like, um, when I first started my TikTok account, a lot of people would ask me, are you a Jake Paul or are you a low gangster, you know? some people would ask me like why do you like Jake Paul why do you own a team 10 shirt I just want to clear that up because a lot of people ask me about you know where I stand everybody makes mistakes and it's just that when you're a youtuber or you're an actress or you're an actor it's more you know important because you're a big person if I went and I kicked Alyssa out of my house no one really really know about that but me and my friends and family as a if I'm Jake and I'm kicking Alyssa out it's like big it's in the news it's a big thing so i feel like we all make mistakes like shane was pointing out jake was still trying to understand right from wrong last year when he did things that he did <clears throat> but i feel like as viewers all we see is what's on the camera we don't know what goes on behind the screen behind the scenes so i don't think we should like jump to Oh, I saw him push her, so, you know, he must be mean for that. I saw him speak to Martinez twins in a wrong way, so he must be mean. We don't know if it was planned. We don't know, like I said, what goes on when the cameras turn off. I don't support the bad things that Jake <clears throat> and Logan have done in the past, but I know that they're changing. Jake hasn't posted videos in a minute, so there's going to be some new videos coming the way. I guess we never know. So yeah, that's where I stand with the whole Jake situation. I support Tessa, Tristan, Al Alyssa, Martina Swins. I support everyone who branches off. I hope Jake continues to do what he's doing, growing his fan base, and I hope Shane, you know, continues to do what he's doing. It's a big learning process at the end of the day. But thanks for watching this video. Thanks for, you know, understanding where I'm coming from, because you know, sometimes it's confusion and people are like, oh, you pick Jake, you pick Logan, you support them being this, and it's not even in that way. So, um, yeah, that it's a quick video. I'm probably going to post this video the same day as another one just because it's really short. But thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye.